technical difficulties again. So we're going to go live on Facebook, see if everybody can catch up. I'm going to grab my little um, thing because we may have to use the phone. having technical difficulties again so we're just going to go live on Facebook I'm sorry everybody how's everybody doing tonight all right I've got this handy here we may have to switch my cell phone and do an overhead I don't know why the Mevo has been plugged in all day and it just decided it wanted to quit. So we're going to do it this way. I've got comments. So I will be able to see comments. Sorry, everyone. All right. So we're going to be working on this one. Don't go to you. I can't. Usually when I stream, it's both live on YouTube and live on, on um, Facebook. But my darn Mevo decided to quit. So, this is what we're gonna have to do. And I'm trying to do this without dragging everybody and making everybody dizzy. But we're gonna have to go overhead. Okay, so I'm putting this on here. It'll take a minute to catch up with me. There we go. All right, so we're working with the truck tonight. Let me see if I can just angle this. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. But there's a slight delay on the computer, so I have to do it in little increments. Urgh. I had so much to show you tonight, and I really needed the Mevo. Alright. Let's angle down a little bit more and see if we can get it straight. All right, so I started off showing you our truck. This is our tailgate, and each holiday there's a different um, kit that goes in here. So we already missed New Year's, but we're going to go ahead and put New Year's together quickly. So you can all see how that goes together. But this is the tailgate. Now, with this, you also get your Velcro. So, we're going to take off our dots, and we're going to put them on the truck, because stick to stick, and then we're going to position the tailgate on here, there we go, I'm trying to make sure we're within view here, and then we're going to push this down, because that way, we will get the Velcro to stick in the right place where we want it. All right, so these go on the tailgate. Now I, I went ahead, it only took me like 15 minutes to paint this one. It's really simple. Y'all wouldn't mind hitting the share button. I'd really appreciate it. Hopefully, come Wednesday, we will be done with all the technical issues. I do not know why I had everything yeah. set up to run. So there wouldn't be any problems tonight after being off for two weeks. We're using the stick fast, CA thick. I do want to jazz this up a little, but 
for now I just wanted to get it on so you guys could see how it goes together. And I know we're past New Year's, Happy New Year, but I know some of my regulars like to keep up, and this way they can order the Valentine's and then order the New Year's one. All right, so that's going to go right on there, if I can get it in the right place. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so it comes with a clock comes with a hat and it comes with some champagne glasses. What I'm going to actually do, not now, but I'll show you pictures later, I'm actually going to use the uh, UV resin that we've used in the past and put a little, put a few bubbles in there. I thought that would be kind of cool. So all you're doing is gluing the pieces where they go. Here is the clock. Now see, I didn't paint the back because the back is going to be glued right to the base. I didn't really even have to paint this, but I do like to do that just in case anything were to show through. And then this is the ring that goes around the clock. I hope you all had a great holiday, Christmas and New Year's, and got to spend time with your family. And you had a nice, safe holiday. This stuff is better than um, crazy glue. And I will be spraying these with a clear acrylic show you this on this angle Let's see if we can do it Let's see it has like a little shelf down in here so there we go uh. there we go there is our new year's one Sorry you're seeing my ugly area over there. But that's the New Year's one. So we're going to leave that in there and we're going to work on the Valentine's one. Now, what I wanted to do with this, and I'm going to try it. We'll see if it works. I already painted this ahead of time. And then I did a clear coat of the Mod Podge because we've done this in the past. Now with this, I can use a two and a half inch ribbon. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use the iron to reactivate the um, Mod Podge and see if we can glue this ribbon right to it. So, let's see if the iron will bring back the sticky. I just, you know, it would have been nice to do this just in a plain black or plain red, but I wanted to spruce it up a little. And I thought this ribbon was really a nice addition to this design. Oops. I want to move that before it really sticks. It went off. There we go. So let's pull it downward. I was going up, and it slid the ribbon up. it worked. It's sticking. So now I'm just going to use my scissors to cut around the frame. Get any excess ribbon that's hanging over. I really needed like scissors, smaller scissors, but that's all we got on hand. I have a better scissors that gets closer. So I will go back and trim that. 
And I do have this stuff called Pray Check. And I may just go ahead and go around the edges so it doesn't fray. That worked. All right. And see, all it did, the heat reactivated the Mod Podge that had already dried for like an hour. So there's that. Now with this, we're going to do this again. Gonna get off two pieces. You get the Velcro free with it, so you don't have to go out and buy Velcro. So I put them in place, and then I bring the tailgate over, and I push it down hard because I want to pick up. Well, if I did it right, it would work right. <laughs> Then they're right in the spot they need to be. All right. Now for the tailgate, we are going to spell out the word be mine on here. So before we go any further, I'm going to make sure that we've got stick. So we're going to glue the B down. And I'm not worried about paint in the back, because you're not even going to see that. I just want to make sure this sticks. Before I go any further and have to rip it off. Yep. Sticking. Alright. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to paint with the uh, diaper wipes tonight. Because these really are as good as the dabbers. And you've all seen me use a dabber. go to it. But that's our dabber. I always put these on because I end up with it in my fingernails and everything else. So, maybe we will use the dabber. Instead, well, I'll show you what it looks like with this. So, get my puck out here. Put a little paint. What I love about this. You can just put the paint right on there. So then what you do is you just dab a little in there and then you're just going to dab the top or wipe it in the direction the grain of the wood goes. Looks like I'm not seeing comments. So, let me just see if I can get them pulled up. Okay, not. All right. Plan B. I'll go right to the laptop and see if we can get it on there. Because I don't want to miss any of your questions. Because this is your chance to ask questions. Or share your ideas or whatever and I think I'll be able to get my comments up on here so just bear with me a second I think I can pull it up of course not you know, just one time, just one time, I would love to go on here 
and be able to work and not mess with this thing. But for some reason, that doesn't always happen. <laughs> At least not for me. And I'm prepared all the time. So I'm still trying to find you. We were on and then it, it kicked off because it was telling me the Amoeba was not charged. And it is. So. No, the chat wasn't working. It was an issue with my Mevo not being charged. Okay, I've got comments. Awesome. I'm glad we could you could join us tonight, Vicki. Joanne's watching from Colorado. Vicki is watching from, is it Texas, Vicki? And Judith is watching from New Hampshire. Do I have that right? Or is it Connecticut? I don't know. My memory really stinks. Especially after the two weeks I've had. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so that's how you paint with a diaper wipe. You just make sure it's not sopping wet and just dab it. And that's kind of the same premise that you use when you're using the dabbers same thing and i can show you how that's done let's go ahead and glue our pieces in place what i should have done was put them space them out first and then go back and glue in case i didn't give myself enough room there we go all right we got it. Kind of tough getting back in the groove. I have spent the last week reorganizing just about every room in the house. I know my shipping department is top notch. It's awesome. I just love it. All right, so we've got that. Now, if you were to use the dabber, let's get a little water on it. Same premise, you're just gonna dip it in there and kind of blot it out a little, and then you're just gonna dab. These are the easiest things to paint with. And you treat them just like you would a paintbrush. You're just gonna put them in water, squeeze them out, get the paint out, If you're not getting it in the green, then you need to go the way the green is. And the green on this one is headed in that direction. So you can just do what I'm doing or you can continue to dab. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I was bound and determined to get this to work tonight. And I think we got it. That really looks, really looks pretty against that. That's a new ribbon that I just got. It hasn't been put in the shop yet. It's a two and a half inch wired ribbon. I got it in white and red, and I also got it in tan and red. Because you know me and my country. I love the country look. Okay, so we're going to put that aside, and we're going to let it dry a little, because we're going to do some some coloring to that. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the dabber, the black, because we're going to dab this black. And sometimes it is easier if you have a piece that's a little um, thinner. Sometimes it's easier just to glue it right to the piece it's going to sit on, like we did with the truck tailgate, and then just go ahead and do this. 
if y'all wouldn't mind hitting the share button, I'd really appreciate it because I think we lost a bunch when we uh, got kicked off. And it's not like I don't have good equipment. I guess I just have finicky equipment. See how easy it is to paint with these? There we go. Now this is going to actually sit right on top of there. But I'm not liking that red. I think I want it darker. So, whoops. I'm going to practice on the back. Yeah. I want this darker. So I'm using my Posco paint pen. I'm actually using the dark red and I'm going in the direction of the wood on this. I don't have dark paint. I only have the dark red marker. push down, it releases the paint out of the paint marker. Don't worry if it's a little uneven because we can kind of stretch, stretch it out with a paper towel. But I like this darker red better. And see with our lasers, you're not painting the sides. You're just painting the top or the bottom. I'm out of focus here, aren't I? I'm sorry. There. I can take this off because we're not dabbing. I will be looking into ordering just the single markers in my set that need replacing and that's through that Dick Blick so I will let you know how that goes because you don't want to have to buy a whole nother set of markers when you can buy them individually because there are certain colors that I find to be my favorite use them a lot. See that just kind of evens it out a little. And I should probably be doing it more often than I am. Blend it. And this marker I think has had it since Christmas. <laughs> So I am going to need to order a red. But again, again, that name is Dick Blick. I thank you to those that came back. Thomas, we'll get all the bugs worked out by Wednesday. going to go ahead and let that sit a minute and make sure okay that's going to work 
so we're going to put the glove back on and we're going to do the white we're going to do the envelope so for that right, we're going to use the diaper white oh you know what my one marker was working really good when I did the white on the Happy New Year. But that's not the look I'm going for. So. We're going to go ahead and dab. And then swipe. the white I usually end up going back over it a couple of times now see when I'm starting I'm not starting where the letters are because I did have a lot on here and I didn't want it to sink into the letters so see how I'm just wiping right over top of it you don't want your thing really loaded up and then I do this to kind of take care of any of the paint that went over. So I'm going to let that dry a second and then we're going to go with a second coat because it's not as white as I'd like it to be. Now for this, let's go ahead and color this. better. Right. So we're going to glue some of this stuff together. Get back there a minute. And then let's put the outline of our heart. on because it will slide. You're better off just dabbing a little here and there. Now what I do use at times to get it in place so it won't shift is I use the antique iron. <laughs> I have a bunch of them and they work really good. There's that. And then we'll go ahead and glue this to there. Note to self, let the paint dry first. There we go. All right, now for this one, I was thinking, let's jazz it up a little. So I'm thinking maybe some of our beads on here. 
just not sure if I want to go pearls or diamonds. No, which do you think looks better? The pearl or the diamond? up the computer to see if anybody's sharing what they think. Not sharing. Or I'm not getting comments, one or the other. Or we're off again. <laughs> Could be anything, right? Well, it looks like we're on. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the pearls. And I really need to get myself a pair of tweezers. Oh my goodness. Buggers. Got to be somebody that invented something to pick up these small things and drop them in glue. What's out there, ladies? You know what? We could use the gold ones as little bubbles, or even the white ones as little bubbles in the champagne glasses. Yay! That's what I think we're going to do. Spoon, pretty soon my hand will be sticking to it.
just wanted something to spruce it up a little bit. Strong bead. Try to do something on each one that's a little bit different, just to give it, give you different ideas. to make it look like a girl truck, not a man's truck. I will go back at the end because I'm obviously not getting to see any of the comments, and I'm sorry about that. what looks like bubbles. That looks like bubbles. I think that looks like a bubble. So I think we'll use some of these with bubbles. Come on. Well, we can use a big bubble and then smaller ones. I think that would work. kind of sweet, doesn't it? This time, put a bigger bubble down here. I think that looks good. Alright, this is almost done drying. So, let's see what... Oops, got some. Let's see what this looks like. Probably going to do something to the letters a little bit. I don't know what yet. But I think that looks good. Don't you? Shake your head yes. <laughs> I can't see that either. <laughs> oh well. And then we'll pull this out. And then we will put our Be Mine on. There 
is, now I think what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to go ahead and fill inside of the uh, hearts with the UV resin. So I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. I think that would really look nice. All right, so we did two. We got our New Year's one done after the fact. And we got our Be Mine done. So let's see if I can put you back on the other stand. Sorry if we're being too fast. Oh, there we go. Now, see, my phone, but I couldn't get my comments on the computer or the other thing. Oh, thank you. Needle nose pliers. I should have tried that, Joanne. Diamond. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll go back and look. But anyhow, what I wanted to show you tonight is we finally finished. Let me unplug this iron before I end up burning myself, which will probably happen. Oh, well, that's way over there. So we're just going to turn it this way so I don't do that. All right. We have been working really, really hard, and we finally finished our marker storage this one is the smaller one this fits 60. we have 120 or we have the 60 one now let me see if i can pull you down just a little bit all right hubby put this together today he designed it now you can either this is i think seven by seven you can either rest it like that if that fits your space you can rest it like that if that fits your space or you can list it, you can lay it like that but check it out now i'm going to go through these and weed out the bad ones i know right and here's the 120 one because you know pretty soon this will be full because i only have three spaces left in this that doesn't have one so once I go through them, but check it out. Okay, so I'll kind of put them next to each other so you can see the size. Definitely bigger. Now it comes, these are a little bit more detailed than the, um, the uh, paint ones because this has an extra layer in it. Now, what I found, I've bought several of these markers at different times. So... I've got the smaller one, it fits the smaller one. I have the fatter one, it fits this fatter one. I have one from Michael's that's really skinny, it fits that one. I also tried it out with, I think this one came from Walmart. So as you can see, it fits all of them. I have not found one yet. I was a little worried about the short ones. Because you can see, they're thinner than that, and they're shorter than that one. Now, this, this is the one that came in the 50s set. All right? This is the one that I think it came in like a 10 or a 12. This was my first set that I bought. But at least you can see, we are getting through some of our items. We're trying. We're, we really got hammered over Christmas. I am absolutely, totally shocked at the orders we got over Christmas. Um, I just made this sign today. This one says, um, Happy Valentine's Day. So this one is for a wreath. So there's that one too. Um, we've got some new ribbon that we'll be listing in the shop. Here is the tan and red and the red and white. And because there's more Valentine's stuff coming, so I thought this one would work really good with this one, and this one would work really good with this one because of the multi hearts, and you've got it in the red and white. So, so there's a lot more stuff coming. Um, 
We have a St. Patrick's Day truck set coming. So you've got the New Year's. So already we've got six total, plus the hockey one that we haven't put together yet. Um, what else we got? Oh, okay. I will show you. We've got hearts, key to my heart. We've got a bunch of stuff coming. But this is one that I had for my granddaughter for Christmas. And we decided to go with the yellow, and I was waiting for their paint. But what you have here is, this is awesome for a baby gift. I did that so I wouldn't lose her name. Her name actually goes on the front cloud. And by front cloud, I know I've showed this before, but we weren't ready to sell it before. So, this goes here, like that. Let me go ahead and put it together. So we've got a lot of baby gifts coming. Um, we just found a crock, a bamboo crock for the um, spoon sets. So that gets put onto there. Then this gets glued onto there. I think I have it upside down. So basically, what the heck? This way. Jeez. So basically, you have a lower cloud on the front of the shelf that her name goes on. And then you have the two pieces that go on the back that make up the top of the shelf. So when you add that second piece on there, this piece has to be painted, when you add that on there, all your little notches, your little holes on here will disappear. So you won't see them. And if you wanted to, you could put the name up here, but I think it'll do better down here. I know, isn't that pretty ribbon? I know, Judith. You and me, we like that kind, don't we? So this will be finished this week, and I will be changing the yellow or the pink to yellow. And this will be a, just a little girl's room, a little boy's room. We actually have an airplane shelf coming for a boy's room. We also have a deer shelf coming for a boy's room. Um, what else we got? There's a Love Shack set coming. You're gonna love it. So, that was pretty much what I wanted to show you tonight. I, thank you, uh, touched it. I thank you all for having patience with me during last week's horrible week. But we're getting through it. Oh, and since the passing of my little girl, um, Lacey, my little Yorkie, we are actually designing an urn for pets. Um, I think, I don't know if some of you have been watching, but um, I've been doing a lot of cleaning, and my little Yorkie, her favorite top knot was a butterfly, and I was toying whether to do hearts or butterflies on hers. And um, out of the blue, her butterfly top knot showed up. So I think she was trying to give me a sign that she wants butterflies on her urn. So we also will be developing those. And we're still working on the glue gun holder. Um, wasn't happy with the first marker carrier, and we weren't happy with that. So. We're getting caught up, um, we're reorganized, and hopefully things will be coming quicker now. So, if you have something that you're looking for, um, whether it be a baby gift, a wedding gift, whatever, reach out to me. If you have an idea, tell me what it is. Um, we can make just about anything. So... That's pretty much all I have for tonight. These are already listed. The um, truck, the Happy New Year, sorry it's late, 
um, and the St. Patrick's one have li are listed now. The Happy Valentine's Day sign is listed. And I will try and get to the shelf tomorrow and then take pictures and get that listed. But they will be personalized. Um, you will be able to pick out the name to go on the front. So keep all that in mind. But this was a long time coming. And I know you guys have been waiting for this. Like, I don't know if any of you have seen these, but we have our paint storage racks also. So, all that is in there. So, I hope to see you all on Wednesday. Thanks for being patient with me, and I'm glad to be back. I've missed you guys a lot. We, we need to get back in the groove and get going. All right, I will see you all on Wednesday. Don't forget, um, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I don't know what I'm going to do on Wednesday. Hmm. I'll have to think of something. I mean, I have enough to choose from. I just don't know which one I want to do yet. All right, thank you. Have a good night. You too, Jillian. Thank you. Thank you, Judith. I missed you. I hope your grandson liked all his gifts and you had a great time with family. All right, good night.